today we're going to do grooming um, of our horse so I've got here a curry comb so this is a hard comb um, it helps to remove the dirt from the horse's coat from underneath uh, this is a connection glove which is the same as a curry comb so it's got hard um, things there as well uh, don't have the dandy brush on me but I've got a soft bristle brush so we're going to use that to finish the horse's coat so it nice smooths out removes the remainder of the dirt this is a tail and mane comb so this one's um, just a bit softer than this one so this one is also a tail and mane comb um, don't use it anymore because I find the round ones a lot better we're going to start off with the curry comb or the glove I prefer to use the glove it's going to be the same motion but I'll show you both anyway so with the curry comb only use on large areas of the horse okay so we're just going to go gently circular motion all on the large areas this helps to bring up the dirt from under the coat you'll notice that I'm not going over this area so this area is sensitive part of the horse this is where all the organs are you'll feel that it's quite soft we don't want to use a curry comb on that because it could hurt them Also being mindful of where the horse is, especially when you're at the back. So you don't want to you don't want to stand behind them. You always want to stand to the side. So that's the curry comb. The glove is the same. So this one. Um, it's a connection glove so it does the same thing as a curry comb um, but it just helps them feel your hand underneath um, gives them a bit more of a massage than the actual curry comb Once we've done that, um, we have the option to use a dandy brush or a soft bristle brush. So I'm just going to go straight onto the soft bristle brush. We're going to um, stroke with the grain of the hair. So the direction of the hair, that's the way this brush is meant to be used. It's a finishing brush. Now when it comes to this section, you can brush over this section with um, the dandy brush or the soft bristle brush. Um, once again, just go with the flow of the hair. That way, in the corner here, it goes up. And up here, it yeah, goes that way. So just whatever your horse is there. Most of them are the same.
brush the neck as well. The pecs under the neck. You're beautiful. You need to brush the face if you want, if they'll allow you. Some horses like it, some don't. So this is gonna the mane and tail comb. Um, so I'm going to use this on her mane and her tail, of course. Um, and probably her forelock as well. We'll see how she goes with that. Sometimes she likes it, sometimes she doesn't. So always go with what your horse enjoys. Make it a positive experience for your horse. Um, it just makes it easier next time you go and do it. So she doesn't see this one very often. So I'm just going to show it to her. Yeah, all right. She's unsure about it. It's okay, good girl. So we don't want to pull on their manes or tails. Because it can actually increase their anxiety, they do feel pain. So just gently brushing. She's disassociating a little bit from this. As I said, sometimes she likes it, sometimes she doesn't. So just gauging what what your horse is liking. She's allowing me to do it. But sometimes that's not a good thing either. Okay. So I'm going to stop there with that one. Same with her tail. Then I'm going to stand to the side of the horse. Um, I start down the bottom myself. Some people don't. They start at the top. Now she's got her hairs all clumpy here. So what I'm gonna do is um, I'll actually put baby oil or coconut oil or something like that in it. Cause I'm not gonna be able to get that out with a brush. So we're just gonna put it in there and we'll leave it for a um, few days, come back brush a little more and then until you get it all out or the other thing people do is if they can't get it out um, you find the dock of the tail and you can trim the tail off but it does take a long time for the tail to grow so ordinarily we don't want to do that but you can see here you can see this, this is all knotty together. I can't do much with it. It's gonna take a bit to get out, but you just brush it, same as the mane, you brush it out. And that is grooming your horse. 